Hello everyone, this is Destiny and welcome back to The Trucking Way. And today we're going to be talking about something that I wish I would have known before I started out as a dispatcher. I started out as a dispatcher back in 2020. Um, I was able to successfully dispatch um, in the first two to three weeks of coming out as a dispatcher, learning it. And I was able to successfully dispatch over 12 trucks at one time. And fast forward, I learned compliance, personal credit, and business credit. But something that I really wish I would have known is that trucks can break down. And when trucks break down for a dispatcher, you do not make money. And as for a truck driver, you do not make money. So I think a lot of the times people want to come out and to be a dispatcher, but that little piece of information they fail to be aware of. So what happens is if you quit your permanent job or your full-time job before you actively have three to five trucks, then you can end up missing that income and being late on your bills or it can get really bad. So something that I would suggest that any dispatcher that is looking to get into this transportation industry, and if you're currently working, I would suggest that if you do work from home, that you try to take on one carrier, which you can successfully do it. I do have mentees that work a full-time job in a dispatch uh, because dispatching is something that you don't have to do all day long, but you can um, still dispatch and work a full-time job. I would not advise anyone if you are the sole breadwinner for the home to quit your day job and to come out dispatching it is a really huge money maker and you can make a lot of money dispatching but i would not suggest that you do that in the beginning because of this simple fact that trucks do break down and truck drivers can leave you you know they'd be like oh no i found another dispatcher you know that can make me a little bit more money so you want to make sure that you are keeping all your ducks in a row prior to leaving your full-time position. And some of the things that you want to make sure that you do is that you want to save up for your um, expenses at least two to three months. So if something goes bad, at least you'll have something to fall back on to your savings. You don't want to just keep money on credit cards and go further into debt. So that's something that I wish I really would have known because what happens is you could get a little complacent and you pretty much just take on two drivers and you know that's pretty much getting you like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per week and you're fine with that um but then one of the trucks goes down and you like well this truck need to hurry up and they end up being in a shop for three weeks and now you haven't had any income coming in from that truck for three weeks so you could do one of the two things you could stay full time until you get consistently three to five trucks or i'm sorry and you can save three to five months of your expenses for your expenses or you can constantly ask for partnerships with drivers you can constantly interview them say hey my name is destiny i'm looking to bring on more on operators into our company is that something that you'll be interested in always interview if you're jumping out there like me um always make sure you're interviewing i have interviewed a lot of drivers i have worked with a lot of drivers i have partnership with a lot of drivers and i do not regret none of the drivers that i work with i work with some really really amazing people and there are such a need for dispatchers right now do not tell let nobody tell you anything differently um there are some dispatchers out here that are taking advantage of drivers i'm not talking about them but a lot of owner operators do not know how to properly run a trucking company and if you are a di good dispatcher and you're just you're doing more than just booking and searching loads then I guarantee you that when that owner operator looks at you and and wants to do business with you, he or she will be like, yes, I want Destiny to dispatch for me. Every company that I have ever been in, I went in and changed it for the better. And I want you to do the same. So if you're interested in becoming a dispatcher, I have my dispatch mentorship that is listed below. It's one-on-one. -on -one. For two weeks, four sessions each week. 
You can click the link and learn about the price. And I have my ebook, which is just $25 and it's downloadable as soon as you buy it. And if you have any questions, you could definitely come back to this video or I will be sending you an email from me that you can answer any of your questions after purchasing my ebook to see if you want to take my dispatch mentorship. And as always, see you next time.